The brewery as we know it on this site was founded in 1792. So it's been on that site for over 200 years. It's an integral part of Red Ruth, part of Red Ruth's history. Working at the brewery was the best job I ever had. There were a lot of employees. Everybody got on so well. It was a buzzy, buzzy, buzzy place. I often said I had the best job in Cornwall for 25 years. Well, I'm pretty certain at one stage it was the main employer in Red Ruth. I started down at Devonish Radio Brewery in, on Bank Holiday Tuesday, 1960. It was a fantastic place to be, be working. I think the brewery was one of the most important parts of Red Ruth. Everybody in Red Ruth knew it was there. Um, they were aware of the smells at different times of the week and therefore had some idea what part of the brewing process we were, we were doing at that point. Uh, and it employed a lot of local people. It finally closed down during 2005. Well, it was a disaster, really. You know, because all of a sudden there's all these people out to work. And, and what else is there in Red Ruth? Really, when the brewery shut down, um, a lot of people didn't even walk down the rain area because they didn't want to see the brewery in the state it was in. The Crescent Kerning project officially started about eight years ago, but it was the dream of lots of people before that to have this new space. So probably for some people it, it's been going back about 20 years, but we started working in earnest on the project in 2011 when we started writing the first funding bid. So Cornwall Council put out a call for sites, inviting applications from across Cornwall to host the new office and um, Red Ruth put in a really impassioned plea about bringing the new centre to this site. And really, Red Ruth selected us. This derelict site was actually holding the town in a standstill position. I think it was actually pushing us back down because nothing could or would develop with this ghastly impact of this big site, completely vandalised, overgrown. It was just a complete carbuncle on the whole town. So we had no chance of progression while it was status quo. So there were two phases of construction. The first was transforming kind of the outside of the site, um, and that started in 2013. And then there was the actual transformation of our building, so the former brew house, which started in 2016. Oh, there, there were many reasons um, why we needed a new site. The existing facilities at the time were really unsuitable. We'd simply outgrown them, but also the conditions in the buildings were no longer suitable. And also we were split across two sites, which made working really inefficient. I think the site is really good architecturally because it incorporates modern elements and stuff from the old brewery just sort of like reflects sort of what it is because you can come in and it's a, the biggest record of Cornish stuff and pretty much in Cornwall and and yet yeah, there's still a load of modern things as well because more things keep coming in as the collection grows. So we've now got two strong rooms um, and they contain 14 miles of shelving um, and that's actually 16,000 individual shelves. So when we moved, we had to relocate all the items onto 16,000 shelves. Those records include everything from letters, photos, Cornish language material, maps, love letters, recipes, um, everything that has kind of survived, or most things that have survived from 850 years of Cornwall's written history. I think that the award of the project for Crescent Kernow was a catalyst for a, a very slow but very steady improvement in the town's fortunes and its image of itself. It was responsible directly for Red Roof Revival, which I am the chair of, because we couldn't have done what we've done in the centre of town without Crescent Kernow developing on the outskirts. And I think, at last, people will be proud to say where they live. It's meant a kind of tremendous amount. As somebody who looks after archives and library material, you're really just the custodian. So I really feel that we've kind of built a, a legacy which will look after the collections for kind of generations to come. So although it's the end of this particular phase of the project, it's really um, an, a beginning 
for the services, the collections, for people and for Cornwall's history.